Bobby Petrino, one of the names that has reportedly emerged as a candidate for the Akron head coaching gig. The Zip snipped Tom Arth at the beginning of the month following a 31-25 loss to Ball State. Since then, Akron has dropped their last two games, a 45-40 shootout at Western Michigan before laying an egg at Kent State, 38-zip. Toledo enters Saturday, having won two in a row in convincing fashion. Emotions will be riding high for the Rockets seniors, who will be playing their final game inside the glass bowl. thought about it a little bit, and I'm just going to go out there, obviously treat it like a normal game, prepare like I always prepare. But once I see that those clock hit zero for the last time in the glass bowl in my hometown city, it's, go, it's for sure going to hit me, I, I think. And I just know my, my brothers, my teammates going to be around me, showing me a lot of love. So, I mean, it's a, something that I'm excited for, but nervous for, just because I know i got a bright future, but it's also you leaving something that you've been around for a long time. Just being a Rocket, you know, for all of this long time, since 2015, it's, it's been such a great opportunity. Um, so, you know, I've never taken that for granted, not once. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's a little bittersweet, you know, seeing that I'm leaving. Um, I think the interesting part that I've just been trying to talk to myself about is, like, the guys that I came in with, They've either been done since 2018 or 2019. Um, so it's just me and uh, Danzel McKinley Lewis from our class uh, left. And, you know, the fact that we play Akron, which is where I'm from, uh, from my last game, it couldn't, I, I wouldn't want to go out any other way.